Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand about surface roughness measurements. What is surface roughness measurement? Surface roughness measurement is the measurement of the small scale variations in the height of the physical surface. This contrasts with the large scale variations such as form of waviness which are typically part of the geometry of the surface. Surface roughness measurement can be characterized using either quantitative or qualitative methods. Qualitative techniques include optical appearance such as the reflectivity of the surface or the strength of the machining leg as well as dragging a thumbnail across the surface as a crude tactile sensor. Quantitative analysis has evolved from the simple two-dimensional profilometry to more than advanced three-dimensional area analysis where information regarding the surface structure can be easily obtained. Surface roughness measurements are of two types. They are contact-based measurement and non-contact-based measurement. In contact-based, there are stylus tip measurement and atomic force microscopy. And in non-contact-based measurement, there is optical interferometer and laser microscope. Now let us see the comparison of the measurement techniques, contact type and non-contact type. In contact type, the stylus measurement and atomic force microscopy and in non-contact type, the optical profilometer and the laser microscope. In contact type, the measurement resolution that is up to 1 nanometer and less than 0.01 nanometer and for the optical interferometer that is less than 0.1 nanometer and laser microscope it is 0.1 nanometer. Height measurement range for contact type roughness tester which is a stylus measurement that is up to 1 millimeter and for atomic force microscopy it is less than 10 micrometer and for the optical profilometer it is less than a few mic millimeters and laser microscope it is less than 7 millimeters. Measurable range a few millimeter for stylus measurement for AFM that is 1 to 200 micrometer and for optical interferometer it is up to 40 micrometer to 15 millimeter and for laser microscope it is 15 micrometer to 2.7 millimeter. An angular characteristic is poor for AFM and fair for optical profilometer and laser microscope it is good. So now let us understand about the stylus measurement. In stylus measurement, it is a contact type instrument where the stylus tip makes direct contact with the surface of a sample. The detector tip is equipped with stylus which traces the surface of the sample. The vertical motion of the stylus is electrically detected. The electrical signals go through an amplification and digital conversion process to be recorded. Here we can see how the roughness data is collected in the stylus measurement. We can see the stylus tip and on the surface of the where we have to measure the surface roughness, the measurement and the detector. What are the measurement considerations in the stylus instrument? To precisely measure delicate shapes and roughness with a contact type surface roughness tester or the stylus measurement instrument, the radius of the stylus tip must be as small as possible with a low contact pressure. Styluses are made of sapphire or diamond and their tip radius is usually about 10 micrometer or smaller. A conical shape with a ballpoint tip is considered ideal for a stylus. Contact type surface roughness testers provide a reliable measurement because they directly touch the surface of the sample. So this is the surface roughness measurement system where we can see the detector, measurable instrument that is a target object and driving unit and the processor. Now let us understand the advantages and disadvantages of the stylus measurement instrument. The advantages clear wave profile capable of long distance measurement and disadvantages the stylus would wear measuring pressure can cause the scratches on the sample surface inability to measure the viscous samples measurement limited by the radius of the stylus tip time consuming difficulties in positioning and identification of the subtle measuring points requires a sample cutting and processing for tracing by the detector these are the references for the information provided in this video and thank you for watching with this video. To get more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet. Also visit our website on www.tribonet.org.